Hey guys, it's Felix from Bullet Motorsports and today we're reviewing this beautiful 1986 Buick Grand National. A um, little backstory on who I am. I bought this car two years ago with my dad and now we're selling it again. And we actually bought it from Bullet Motorsports and here I am again selling it at Bullet Motorsports. But it didn't come back the same. It came back with a few upgrades. Before we really get into it, it runs on E85. So it's got a lot of power, it's ready to go. And we also selling this 1987 Buick Grand National. This is also a beauty. Uh, I love this car. We love Grand Nationals here at Bullimore Sports and let's get into it. All right, we're gonna do an overall review of this car. Uh, obviously, you guys have met Felix. Felix actually works here. He's our uh, curator for all the inventory here and he does an amazing job. He's also helping us with marketing, which you see right now. We're gonna go over this car together because this is his father's and his baby. Uh, they bought it from us, uh, it had about 90,000 miles. They've put about 7,000 miles on it. And at the 2,000 mile mark, they went crazy. So basically, APR studded it, 6262 turbo. It has a PTC converter, everything you could ever think of. E85, 90 pound injectors, it boogies. So today what we're gonna do is do a walk around, which I'm doing right now. I would rate the paint a six and a half to seven out of 10. It shows extremely well. 86 has the chrome grill. Uh, paint does show minor imperfections, but nothing to, to worry about. Another cool thing about this one, it's a CF5. So that's how I, I got your dad to buy this. I, I go, hey, yeah. this is a CF5 86, lowest production. It literally took no convincing. Nope. So sold that. He came here about 15 times before he made the decision. Just want you guys to know that. But it's rolling on a set of factory wheels. Uh, brakes have just been serviced. It has brand new shocks and springs. And we have all the receipts for it. BF Goodrich radial TAs. The Grand National emblem's in the right position. As I look at the driver's side, there's no rust. Uh, the only imperfections I really see would be the rubber stripping. And rubber are original from 1986. Bumper fillers have been done. Uh, roof line is very nice. A little bit of stress fractures right here, but nothing major. Interior is extremely nice. It has been upgraded. So you have an upgraded boost gauge, and then I'll let you talk about the radio, Felix. So on the interior, we have a retro sound radio. And the reason why I love this radio so much is because it looks like an old school radio. And when it turns on, you can actually change the color of the LED to match the gauge. So it looks, it looks classy all the way through. We changed all the door um, speakers. So everything sounds amazing in this car. Now this car actually has one of the best alarms you can get for this car. It's a Viper alarm. So with that alarm, you have multiple capabilities. You can connect it to your phone. You can um, start the car with the key fob which is also, that's, that's the craziest feature to have on a classic car. I mean, come on, where do you see that? And you can also put limiters on the speed to see how fast somebody else is driving your car, which is something my dad loves, so. Um, you can also check things on your phone, right? Yeah, you could check things on your phone, you get notifications, the whole nine. There's no expense spared on that. And it's not too sensitive, so you can leave it outside, a car can go by and it's not gonna go off. They've got the sensitivity set perfect. Um, I'm going to continue to go around the car right now. Quarter is very nice. All the glass has been tinted. Uh, your tail lights are in great shape. A small imperfection here on the bumper filler because these are fiberglass, so it's going to happen. Uh, rear bumperette shows very well. There's just minor wear. That's why we're giving it that, that 7 rating, 7 out of 10. I'm going to pop the trunk right now so you can see that custom stereo that Felix talked about. Oh, you have the key? Or can you pop it with your, uh, with your keys? So it now does have. Nice. So car covers included, and then here is the Alpine stereo that they put in here. Two tens. It's not too loud. It doesn't rattle. Mm. And then you have all of your options here. So what do you look for if it's a Grand National? You look for those stickers right there. Well, you look for a W E two. So you're gonna go. It's an alphabetical order. You're gonna to get to your W's, WE2. And then you're also gonna to wanna to look at, at the G's. So it has G80, it has Posi Traction, and then it also has the CF5 option. 
So it's a factory sunroof car. It has the trunk kit as well. Paint is extremely nice. There's no rust, there's no rattling. Let's go down the passenger side now. In regards to imperfections on the passenger side, the only one I really see is a small imperfection right here from when they repainted it. Uh, glass is very nice. The rubbers are starting to show a little bit of wear. But you gotta remember, this car is from 1986 and everything that you would ever wanna do to it has been done. Dash is nice, steering wheel's nice. And let's get to the good part, which is the engine. This has pipes exhaust as well. Engine has been completely overhauled for the top end. So they did a 62-62 turbo. It does have the upgraded brake system, so it doesn't have a power master anymore. New ignition system, stock manifolds. Uh, it has a three inch downpipe and it's super clean, math converter. So what you're seeing right here is for the relay for the fuel pump. So it gives it full voltage the whole time. Uh, intake, and it does have upgraded headlights. So there's actually HIDs in there. You have a champion radiator and then two small fans as well. I think those are 12 inch fans. So it'll always stay cool. AC is cold. And Felix and his dad drove this all the time. They put miles on it. They tested it out. Anything that went wrong, they would go after. They'd call me or they'd bring it to Jeff at Trackside. So what I'm holding right here are all of the receipts, which we will include. And it breaks down everything that was done. So the motor was completely resealed. You're looking at a really nice piece. And I don't even, I told them not to sell it. But hey, I want to start a, uh, what are you guys going to do, a Turo? Yeah, we have a little Turo business. Um, we'll on some bigger things. There you, there you go. Hey, let's start it with a remote start. That is freaking cool. Oh, I smell it already. We're running E85, baby. That's, this is gonna make a lot of power, so I don't think we're gonna have tr <laughs> traction. So sorry, guys, but we're gonna test this thing out today. That's, it sounds great, super healthy. As I said, you're gonna get all the receipts included with the sale. Um, let's jump in it and go for a ride. If you guys have any questions about this ride or any of the inventory we have, give us a call at 954-363-2261, and we'll get you taken care of. All right, you can see the security lights on because Felix started it outside, put the key in, and we're good to go. Also, I didn't know you guys installed this. Yep. It's a live no rear view. To spare. And it's a CF5 option, but I know that the gears inside the plastic are starting to wear. You have the radio that we talked about, so this will connect to you via Bluetooth. And the AC is co it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Power seat works, I'm dropping it right now. All right, let's take her for a rip. So if I break it, do I have to buy it? Mike, <laughs> buy it back. <laughs> also, if you guys are looking at the photo gallery, you're gonna see that the 3.8 SFI, the three is missing. We actually have a replacement one and we're gonna take care of that before it leaves. You can always tell it's a 6262 turbo because it has a little bit of lag. But once it hits, it's good. We'll let it get to good operating temperature and then um, we're gonna bring it over to our test spot and test it out. I do not like all this dirty water here. Yeah. Brakes feel great. And they were just done at less than like 300 miles ago, huh? Can this also turn into a regular rear mirror too? Yeah, it's also, it's, it records the front and the back. So oh, so in case there's an accident, yeah. it, that's pretty cool. Shift's nice too. Oh boy. <laughs> I, I, can, I would assume it probably makes, I would say, 450 horsepower. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say that earlier today, but I don't have a dyno. Well, I have a butt dyno from driving so many of these. That's true. Within, within 10 to 15 horsepower, I think I can give it. We're gonna have a hard time with this one because it need, I think that whoever buys it, if they wanna have traction, Mickey Thompson East T Streets, for sure, 100%. Yeah, without a doubt. Otherwise, it's going to just blow the tires loose. It's 
also a fun part. <laughs> That's awesome. Whoa, crazy driver behind us. This, I don't know how you drive with this. This freaks the, me out because really? of all the move, movement. You're just not used to it. No, to it, technology. Right? I don't like technology. This is why I call that modernized. It is modernized. Yeah, the dash is really nice. Rear seats have never been sat in. Maybe they have. Yeah, they have plenty. But everything's treated well. Ashtray's clean. No one's ever smoked in it. Windows go up and down nicely. And they're dark. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the radio sounds amazing. We're going over some bumps right now. Nice and smooth as it should be. Radio sounds great. How much boost does it run? Do you remember? 20 pounds. 20 pounds. Well, let's see how she does. We're gonna take a left here, we'll test it out, and then we'll get you guys some artistic shots from the outside to help you decide if this is the right ride for you. If you guys wanna fly in to drive it home, no problem, just make sure you stop at E85 fuel stations. All right, we'll build it up a little bit. <laughs> it's fast, it feels good. It's, it's like the perfect amount of power. Yeah, it might be faster than the Viper. Think so? Yeah, I think so, I really do. It's a little bit heavier, but it, it feels really good. We'll get another shot over here and uh, let you guys decide. But right, I mean, let's see. So we're rolling at 35 miles an hour. Give myself a little bit of leeway here. Get it into second. goes. <laughs> Does this how you guys drive it? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it breaks loose in second. It's, it feels really, really good. If you guys have any questions, give us a call 954-363-2261. Thank you again. Don't forget to thank Felix. Thank you when you drive it away. <laughs> like this car and you guys want to buy it give us a call at 954-363-2261 i gotta go buddy get the page